pathetic, you know that? Maybe, but I can still make you laugh. I can leave you any time I want. And I want to right now. You are the worst thing that ever happened to me. Well, at least I'm number one. Oh, you are, Todd. You're the world's number one source of misery, agony, and unhappiness. No one is better at making people suffer than you. Stop it, Delgado. All this talk will give me a big head. Well, get this into your head, Todd. You don't exist to me anymore. You can't get to me ever again. Whatever disease you inflicted me with, whatever made me accept all the agony you caused me, it's gone. I'm cured. I've got a new man in my life, a real man. Oh, RJ's not a real man. He's only one step above John Sykes with his neat little apartment and his cute little fishies. I mean, come on, Delgado, what's up with that? Have you been watching me? How long? Have you been in Lambview this whole time? Well, I know people don't go to roadies anymore. Now they go to crossroads. You've been stalking me? No, I check in from time to time just to make sure you're all right. <gasps> yeah, I knew, I knew you were sick. But to pretend to disappear and then watch me? I considered postcards. You're, you're insane. Even you have to admit that, that, that the whole thing, you know, the fake bomb at the country club, I mean, that, that was funny. Watching Kevin Buchanan and Bo Buchanan fight it out to see who got to be the hero made me laugh. You were there. You were in the parking garage on New Year's Eve. See, when you came down there by yourself, I thought maybe you'd figured that out. Well, why in heaven's name didn't you show yourself to me then? I was having fun. Watching Landview lurch around in the dark. You did that too? No, Terry. Landview's the only place in the world where Y2K actually happened. Why play all these convoluted games? For you? Just for you. For you, I would make the world end. This is your idea of love, isn't it? You did all this to prove your love to me. There's no such thing as love the way you think about it. No, I didn't love you. That's why I left you. You're lying. Am I? I don't know. I don't know. I, I know that you're inside me and I can feel you there and it makes me crazy. If you could just stop running away from love. You and I, we have very different ideas about what love is. Love, love, love just doesn't make the world go round. Love doesn't make life worth living. Love doesn't just solve all your problems. No, love is agonizing. It's in, in your head and your needles in your heart. Oh, you did a number on me. Everywhere I go, you're there. You're in me. You're in my head even when I sleep. You're in my head and I tried to get it to stop. I've been all over the world erasing you. I can't. I hate this town. I hate that I had to come back here. I went away without you. And the only thing I learned was that I don't just hate this town. I hate the whole world. <laughs> So when I go away this time, you may as well come with me. Are you coming or not? You know, I thought you had limits. I mean, I thought I'd seen it all. I'm full of surprises. You, you, you lure me up here. Admit to me that you've been spying on me for over a year. Give me this long, labored tale of how you can't erase me from your brain, though you've tried. And I'm supposed to what? Fall into your arms? So you do understand. I don't want your kind of love, Todd. It's dark and angry and painful. I've got a new life now and a new man. Oh, you've got a sorry imitation of me. He's nothing like you at all. 
He's kind, he's gentle, and he takes me to bed and makes love to me like a normal, healthy man. And, uh, you know what, Todd? I like it. I like it when he touches me. I like it when he kisses me. I like it when he runs his hands all over my body. He makes me feel like a normal, healthy woman. He makes me feel respected and loved. But I make you feel alive. All right, let's go. Come on. Here's your handbag. Or your purse or your clutch or whatever. I'm not going with you, Todd. Sure you are. Okay. Maybe I will go with you. All right. Uh -huh. Are you sure you want to stay here and you know, fight a little more? I mean, just get warmed up. Now, you know what? I'm sick of fighting. There is another way to settle this. Oh, I'll talk about it in the car. <laughs> you know, I'm sick of talking, too. Love me, Todd. And I will go anywhere with you. Please. Love me here. Love me. I get it now. You can love me the way I need to be loved. How's that? Really, show me. What is there? Is there a playbook? What do we do? Do we get down on the floor here where we go upstairs to the bedroom? What do we You want to hop up on the kitchen counter there? At least give me the chance to be happy. Well, you and I, we don't get to be happy. Now, what do you think? We just pop, pop on the floor here and then, 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 then this is just everything? Well, it's a start. Oh, Mike, you don't get it, do you? And I thought you figured it out. Figured out what? We're better than that. We're more. Oh, Delgado. You haven't changed a bit. You haven't changed a bit either, Todd Manning. If you won't touch me, I, I, I can't go with you. That's what you really want. And that's what you'll get. Okay. 